These guys all just to annoy me. Not anymore, apparently. Yeah, I, I was originally going to talk a lot of stuff in this, but now, my, I, I, you know, I'm a guy, I can't multitask. I've got my brain focused on the game. I, I, thought, I thought I knew the game sort of well enough to not have to think about what I'm doing, but apparently I'm crap. in silence with it. Bye. Well, I do have to say, sitting in silence isn't all that bad because I do quite like the music of this. Actually all of the first three Spyro games I think. The Insomniac trilogy really. I'm sort of, I'm sort of the same with with Spyro and with Crash Bandicoot, which was I was actually considering, it was either this or Crash for the first one of these that I do. And then wait, there is an end to this sentence. I'm just trying to think of it. And then what's the start of it again? <laughs> I headbutted a sheep. Yeah, it, it was between this and Crash. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk over these bits, but... It was a toss-up between this and Crash, and the original uh, trilogies of both games from um, Insomniac and Naughty Dog were just the best, really. Because, you know, once, once they decided, yeah, we're only going to make three of these games each. And then the, the rights or the name or whatever it was got sold on or something like that. Or licensed to other people. And they said, hey, this is a big money-making scheme. Stroking their met metaphorical, hypothetical, long beards. I've already been in here, haven't I? Yeah. I can just imagine that that was sort of a, a goatee meeting. Just sort of, let's all stroke our goatees and think of all the money we will make destroying these franchises. Which they did quite well. So, I've not played anything beyond Spyro. I, well, I have played... Um, I have played the fourth one, Enter the Dragonfly, which... I haven't even completed because it's just so poo. I, I, I doubt it's even a real game. I think it's just a. I think I, I think I dreamt it, and it's just a bad nightmare gone wrong. And that was the moment I realised that the world was shit, and everyone's a corporate sellout. And stuff. Yeah, nice little secret there for you. Sorry, I wasn't talking about it. There's a secret cave underneath the thing, and there's a key in it, and there's a thing in here that the key is useful. I can't, I can't think of words right now. I'm sorry. I'm just. I've had a very stressful day. I actually haven't. But... I feel like I need an excuse. I 
No. This hill is everywhere. I can't run in a straight line. This is annoying me. I feel drunk. Maybe it was a tequila I had three hours ago. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't condone drinking and running. Don't drink and play. Yeah, I actually thought I would. I honestly thought I would be able to talk about something or other constantly in this, and I am actually not. And now I feel really bad that you're probably watching this. If you're still watching this, well done. So you're probably watching this thinking, oh, I'm not saying anything. And so you're actually switching off right now. Which is not good. Please stay with us. We're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna have fireworks later on, promise. And tequila. Sorry, I still got tequila on the brain, but <laughs> sorry, I just had to. I'm running over hills. Actually, the worst level for me to try getting a hundred percent on because mostly because I know I always end up missing like three or two gems and it's usually always a green and it's somewhere in the middle of these hills and these trees and stuff and I always end up having to run around and try to find them and it re annoys me, it does. This is why right now I'm hoping that I'm done. Oh yes, I am. As long as you know you're in multiples of a hundred, it's fine. I was hoping I would hover. I'm still in... I'm in Spyro 2 and 3 head while I'm playing this. Keep thinking that Triangle will make me hover. It won't, it'll just stop me dead. Bye. Oops. Really quick and easy one. Dark Hollow. And we got a nice rear view of the purple midget dragon who uh, yeah, that didn't really need to go on any further. Oh look, they have metal shields. The first major obstacle, or something. I don't know. It's weird because this game's really quite old. But it must have come out just at the same time as the DualShock controller came out. Because I'm able to play with the analog stick. Yeah, the um, the right analog stick, which normally in most games these days, at least most third person platforming type of games, the right stick controls the camera. So I keep going for the right sticks when I want to move the camera. And it I have to use the back buttons, I think. Yeah. Tips to the guy. Schoolboy error. 